Hello everyone, welcome back to Pointer Technology. It's been a while since we recorded the last uh, lecture about the uh, homoromations. So today we'll be discussing a bit, you know, about the ETS uh, KNX software. So, so if you just go to the knx.org, you'll see in the front page all the details of the ETS and what are the things that you can, you know, browse. So what we'll do is we'll go to the uh, to my KNX. We'll go to view all the uh, ETS versions. We have ETS 6 Lite because ETS 6 is the last uh, uh, release of the ETS version. It was 5 and now it's 6. The ETS, ETS Lite, then we have ETS Professional and ETS Home. Uh, for today purpose, you can just say, uh, you don't need to buy the license. You can click on the download the demo. And when it's download, you can just run from your, uh, you know, where the file is located, and the software will be download in your uh, in your PC. Uh, before going to the ETS, another important uh, software that I want you to have. If you go to, just show you that they need to download the uh, uh, the ETS virtual which is one of the wonderful tools we'll use so we'll go to the KNX virtual and try to buy when you click on buy this is a free of cost you can buy the software when you click on buy it will add in your account which you know so I already have an account I have login if you don't have account you can create it's a free of cost and then in your account you can go there you will find go to the products the uh, the ETS KNX virtual will be already added in your uh, account. You can just download the software and keep it ready in your desktop. So we'll use the software, you know, for the uh, examples that uh, will follow. So going back to the ETS, um, again, the one of the features that they added in ETS six is you can access through your account. You can log in if you have the license link with that. With the with the ETS six, but uh, for our today purpose, we don't need to have the license explained early. You can just run as a demo. So when you run as a demo, you have a wizard here. You can create uh, a new project. You can import if you have a project that already is ready. Uh, if you have some started project, will will be here. If you have archiving projects, you can actually download from your archiving. And some of the nice, you know, uh, b b details for informations online about the products, catalog, and news of the KNX uh, products. So for uh, we'll just go to create new projects. I'll name this project as Omar Villa. Okay, what is the type of the of the of the project? You can select, you know, whether it is. Uh, uh, family house, um, health care, the villa type. So I collect, I select the villa. The backbone, if you remember, explained in the earlier video, you can make it IP IP or uh, TP IP, depend. But in our case, we'll go with the TP TP. Here for the group addresses, you have a freestyle, you have two level, then you have three level. Uh, for the first two options, as a beginner, it will be a little bit harder for you to understand. So I always recommend I'll go with the with the three level, you know, it'll make it easier for you to understand and how you're creating your group addresses. We'll click on create the project. We have the tools on top here. We have edit. If for example, you want to edit your buildings, we have the workplace, commissioning, diagnosis, where you want to diagnose the, uh, the bus, or you want to monitor the group addresses. And you have some of the KNX applications apps that you can link with your you know, ETS. So basically, you will be working in the workplace. In the workplace, we'll go to the open panel. We need a building. Building is already open for us. We need to open the group address. And again, go back to the workplace. Open for us the typology. So in the building, it's just kind of you can arrange your building, how it's, how it looks like. You can just go here, right click, create, select, create a floor. You make it ground floor, for example. And you can add uh, another floor, for example, first floor. So your building structures is okay. Then in the ground floor, what what are the things that you have? You can add rooms. 
uh, for example I have here you see that utility room so utility room will be added if I want to add another room no need to go back again right click you can just add for example here I have a bedroom okay so bedroom uh, let's say that here I have a corridor just click OK so you have your building parts already created so for your easy understanding in the first floor the same thing you can click add rooms um, let's say I have a bedroom I uh, yes, yeah, I have let's say living room okay let's say I have a toilet it doesn't necessarily that you have to use the same icon what's what's available in the uh, in the ETS you know you can keep it empty actually as a toilet so here we have the bedroom living and then you have a toilet next what will what will what we need to take care of it is uh, you go back to your uh, group addresses uh, you can create the group addresses you make from the main group I'll make one group for ground floor the main group I can create the second one which will make it first floor so here I have two main one for ground one for the first floor in the ground floor you can create a middle group address uh, first one maybe we can use for the light the second middle group address will be used for AC sorry well, let's make it HVAC so when you click here I just want to differentiate you know the uh, middle group first middle group will use for your lighting control group addresses the second one you can use it for the HVAC and the same you can repeat it in the first floor so the other other thing you have to take care of your you have your typology here already if you uh, upon the new project you will have that predefined you know that line 1.1 1 .1 is there if you want to continue using you can use if you want to delete you can actually delete and start create your own area you know which area you want to start with it's up to you you can name it it's a tp or it's an ip so it will come for us the area one in the area one i want to have lines which is uh, let's see that for the ground floor one line and for the first floor another line so in the line 1.1 1 .1, it will be for ground floor 1.2 will be for first floor uh, the same thing you have to go back to your buildings and go to the ground floor select the line in which line is actually this is in ground floor all the item will come inside the bedroom again we'll make it into ground floor corridor for the ground floor utility room again leave it in ground floor uh, for the first floor items the say uh, areas same you can just select here it will go to the first floor the the line first floor it's in first floor line I'll explain to you uh, you know a bit why why we, why I'm doing this one uh, some of the commission engineers they like to add the devices in the typology and then they will drag from the typology they keep it inside the room for their future understanding or even you don't need to you, you might just escape you know adding the devices into any room but if you have a big uh, project for easy understanding it's, it's much, be much better you know to segregate your uh, devices properly you know exactly which device is installed in which area so it'll be easier for you for the future you know the troubleshootings and the maintenance part of the project uh, so all is done well, the left for us to add the devices so someone will ask how I can bring the devices and add it into the ETS you need to go to the catalog uh, in the catalog here you have so many you can just you know enlarge click here enlarge it it will be open in another uh, uh, window so here you have all the list of the manufacturer that their online catalog available 
you can actually import if for example they let's say you go to ABB and you're looking for certain device it's not available in the online catalog you can go to your website download the ETS file in your uh, PC and then you can import from here so in our case uh, I'm gonna use the KNX virtual devices so that you can demonstrate for the lighting control system and other applications so in my case I'm looking for the uh, instead of checking all this one I can use I'll just tell them I'm fine okay next or here you can just select KNX associations you have all the KNX devices for the uh, for the virtual so in our previous example if you remember we have a small villa we'll take a portion area of it let's say that the uh, the bedroom in the ground floor where you have a chandelier and you have a spotlight and you have some of the you know, on off light in the toilet and you have the, the closet so all what we need here is uh, you have the device even the description of the devices here so basically what we need to add is uh, we'll add a lighting actuator and we need also a dimmer and we need a keypad to control the light so i'll go here i'll select where i want to add the devices i'll go to ground floor this is in the bedroom you see here if i already select the the line so go back to the uh, catalog to add uh, switch actuator just double click it will add the device we need to add the room controller and for the dimmer we need a dimmer Okay, next demo anyway you cannot add more than four uh, five devices so we have all these devices added here i believe i made small uh, mistake all the uh, back-end devices is always recommended to keep it in the electrical the automation db so this is this utility having the automation db so i will shift all these devices to the utility so in our automation db we have all the backend devices actuator and the dimmer and the room controller will be located in the bedroom so you see here the same thing if you come to the ground floor backbone automatically the devices will be added so you understand that from your backbone which devices which which device in which uh, line it's for the easiness and the troubleshooting and uh, some engineers will do reverse way they bring the device in the line and the you know direct to topology from topology they will link it to the area it's up to you actually what what exactly you want to do so uh, you have another uh, tool which is uh, diagonox and the diagonox here you can start monitor the bus you can uh, for example you have a certain device you want to find the information you can put uh, IP uh, address of the device you can read the informations if you want to know which, if there is any device in a programming mode or not you can check individual address you can do your scanning of the entire you know uh, uh, lines for example i want to check how many devices lively in my system is connect uh, and so many you know things that you can get benefit from it so that is for the uh, ets We'll move on in our next example. Uh, I'll explain you about the uh, lighting control, how you can link. We'll use the same uh, example that we have created here. Stay tuned and see you.